Hello guys, this is take two of today because, not because my recorder stopped working, but my audio was like really loud, like my game audio was really loud and I was really quiet, so it didn't really work out, but yeah, as you see I have full diamond armor, um, and yeah, I did, I think I got this, and I died quite a few times, but I don't have the footage to show that I died, um, and we have, we've got some diamonds and some things from the nether and stuff. Yeah, I just did a mining session and it was down here. There's a cave down here, but I don't really feel like going down here. And I also gathered some materials for a farm. And drum will roll for the farm in a second. <laughs> so this is going to be our set our area that we're gonna build the farm and it's going to be a Whatever it's called. Oh yeah, we also built this. This is just a stone farm that I can AFK at if I ever need stone. But I don't need stone right now. Right now we're building a wood farm. So I don't I tried to I think this is all I need. I'm following a tutorial. I'm not like a genius at this stuff. But it, as you can see, there's slime, which took me a while to get. Oh my gosh. Um So we need to create a farm for that, because I am not creating any more farms until I have enough. What the hell? Why are there so many villagers? The heck? We're, yeah, we're gonna need to create a villager trading farm as well, but I think that's gonna be my top priority first, because those are insanely helpful. You can get, like, a full beacon just by that. And we also attempted to get things to go to the end, which I'm putting off for a later time, because it took me it took me two deaths and like a full hour to get three ender pearls. As you can see, I am a Minecraft um, pro. Anyway, let's get to building this. Um, let's get, let's get to building this um, cool farm. Farm's done and it looks kind of weird because you know it's not a good farm. It, it should be good. Um, but we need to get bone meal for it to work, and so now we're gonna have to make a bone meal farm, which is annoying, but we're you know, that's just the life of playing Minecraft. You make one farm, you need another. Let me sleep. So yes. I will explain how it works, and I will link the person I followed in the description who made the original farm design. But in the in the most basic um, sense, I guess. Basically, the farm let's build up a little bit. Hopefully, we don't fall and ruin it. So this is just the collection system. I'm pretty sure everyone understands what a collection system is. Um, it just collects the items. 
So what it does is this observer, oh, I'm sorry. This, you put like a sapling right there. And then this just, you, that's an on and off switch and you put bone meal in there. And um, this dispenser will dispense bone meal on the sapling that will go here. And then these pistons will be looped to push. So every time it detects a block, the comparator detects a block. Um, this will detect the block change, and then, um, the redstone will, like, power the pistons to push the wood that way. <laughs> and then it goes up here, and to- and this, this makes- prevents it from lowering one of those really tall trees. And then it will push it out and then drop the TNT. The TNT will go off at the exact time that the TNT duper. Hopefully, the exact time that the- but so that it doesn't blow anything up and then it'll just continue going on until we run out of bone meal and then we're gonna link up the bone meal farm that will probably go over there to here and yeah but i do want to give this a go so i'm gonna get my bones if i have any or we might have to farm that would also kind of suck we have some bone meal <laughs> just a little bit hopefully that's enough um, and there's some bones here. And then we'll just get some saplings. For the longest time I wasn't actually critting. And I didn't know you had to stop sprinting to crit and it- I mean this- this- I, I learned this like a year ago but still it annoys me. To this day. There we go. We got a single sapling. Let's see if this works. Hopefully it does. Really suck if it didn't. And if it blew everything up. That would really be bad. So let's put some ladders right here. Bone meal in here. Okay, that didn't work. We need a lot more bone meal. But, progress, yeah, progress. We see that the bone meal thing works, which it probably sh should always work, but that's still progress, you know? So yeah, I think that's pretty successful. We need bone meal, which I guess we gotta build now. We gotta build a bone meal farm. And a lot more other farms, but, you know. Let's try and do something next with like next next episode we'll do a little bit more like the bone meal farm and we will go try and get um find the stronghold at least and then we'll have one episode devoted just to beating the ender dragon that's a pretty monumental thing this is my temporary sugar farm so oh sugar farm sugar cane farm this is yeah and Eventually, I want to have everything interconnected and all feed into one storage system, so I want, like, big industrial pipes going through each farm. And I want things encasing the farms, like maybe big bubbles, I don't know. It, it, I'll change- I'll change this from cobblestone to something else soon. But for now, it'll just be cobblestone. And I also want to get an actual, like, food farm, which I'm debating, and I'm pretty sure we'll just make a hogland farm on the nether roof, so that's pretty easy, because we're running low on food. But I think today was pretty successful. Um, once- and I also got a cat. I don't know when I got the cat, but I got a cat. I think I got it when I was making the farm. Or working on getting things for the farm. I can dye the collar. Okay, that's cool. <clears throat> but we got a cat. So I need names for all of these, and if you comment, I'll name it. And if there's multiple comments on the names of my dogs and cats, then I will choose the most liked one. So like the comment that you want, and if- yeah. <laughs> I don't know, that didn't make any sense. But yeah, name my cat and my dogs. I think we already have at least two of the dogs' name. I'll recolor one of these dogs so that we can differentiate them. So we've got a purple. 
or no, yeah, we've got a pink, blue, red, and yellow dog, and then we have a yellow cat, which we, I, I might change it to orange cat, and you guys can choose what you want to name the, um, yeah, we'll change it to an orange cat, and I'll allow you guys to choose the names of these animals, because, you know what, that's a good thing for you guys to comment, and it gives me retention. Or, sorry, comments. It gives me comments, not viewer retention. You guys could probably just skip to this point in the video, but, yeah. Subscribe because cat.